walk those chimp joints side to side. Wherever I go, I like to keep at least one elbow above shoulder level. Why? Well, long ago, our chimp joints were trained by nature in the treetops. You could even say that our mother the tree taught us to rock our bodies side to side in a fully round x-axis. That means the arms in a V overhead and the legs in an A below. X-axis. This rocking is not only good for your joints, it's good for your whole body, your sane mind, and your free spirit. But when we left those trees, there came a battle between culture and nature, and unfortunately, culture won. Yes, culture won with architecture. Architecture with its vertical and horizontal plus axis. A plus axis of squares, rectangles, and the number four. That's Rectang architecture. The then we four. have nature on the x-axis. Architecture on the plus axis. A plus axis of squares, rectangles, and the number four. Because of this plus axis, we have lost our fully round 3D body bubble, 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 body bubble. And now live in a flat world of pages, screens, windows, doors, tables, chairs, desks, and counters. How many times do you see anyone other than a small child with their elbows above their shoulders? Very rarely. No, most people's arms are trained to work below the shoulders trapped into serving the commercial commands of the culture at low horizon jobs. That's no fun. It's not even healthy. Unlike all the other animals, our chimp arms are very special because when we lived in the trees, we hung by our arms beneath the branches. This means that the arms don't start at the shoulders, as in this doll. No, because of our mother the tree, our arms have much deeper roots, very low in our backs, where the muscles attach to the shoulder blades. And it took evolution a long time to put us mammals into those trees. Actually, our basic body design started in the ocean with the baby sea squirt, which was the first animal to have a head in front with a flexible rod, like a tail, behind it. This baby sea squirt also had a left eye and a right eye, a left brain and a right brain. This two-sided design set the pattern for all those joints which came later. It started simple with the left and right fins of the fish. But so far, no neck, elbows, or knees, no. Those joints came later with the amphibians who moved onto the land. These three examples came before the dinosaurs. Then after the dinosaurs came these three examples. The mammals on the ground and the birds in the air, the mammals in the trees, like lemurs, monkeys, and apes. And finally, the fully upright, walking chimps like you and me. No other animal walks and runs the way we do. No other animal talks, draws, and writes. And no other animal has hands so clever in using tools. 
especially tools for destruction. It just may be that these clever hands are causing our globe's next big mass extinction of species, including ourselves. By the way, never press your palms together. That shuts down the electrical current on both sides of your body. No, if you want to put your hands together, put them at the fingertips. But perhaps, just perhaps, if we can learn to start loving nature more than we love culture, and if we reject the plus axis and return our bodies to the X axis, we can focus our attention on a much higher horizon. Stop thinking that your belt line is the border between the upper and lower realms. No, the upper realm is above your chin table. Chin table. Live each moment as though you were walking in a river. Below your chin are the heavy and polluted currents of culture. Above your chin table are the inspirational memories of the treetop paradise that we all lost when we returned our feet to the ground and those soul-killing shoes. Right, left, right, and change. Left, right, left, and change. Yes, the count is five. Right. Oh!